Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Rhapsody reading. Today is Friday, the 18th of March, and our title is Sickness Isn't Normal. Our shouting scripture is coming from 3 John 1 verse 2, and it reads, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Pastor Chris says, sometimes there are Christians and even some ministers of the gospel who are working hard for the Lord, but at the same time struggling with some ailments, some kind of pain or sickness in their bodies. Some say it's normal to get sick, citing the prophet Elisha who died sick. Um, the scripture reference is 2 Peter 13 verse 14. They also reference Epaphroditus that worked with Paul, who in his favor served the Lord, became seriously ill and almost died. That's from Philippians 2 verse 30. Thus to many, sickness is normal. But no, it's not. First, the Bible never told us to model or pattern our lives after Elisha and Epaphroditus. Jesus is our example the one we are to emulate. And the Bible says, as he is, so are we in the world. And that's from 1 John 4 verse 17. He was never sick and couldn't be. He gave us the power to heal sicknesses and cure diseases. Paul in 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1 said, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. There is no record that Paul or the apostles wherever sick rather they healed the sick read about paul in Pe uh, about paul and peter in the book of acts acts 19 verse 11 to 12 and acts 5 verse 15 to 16 follow god's word model your life after the word after christ and learn from his greatness and from his great apostles of faith they were masters over the elements of this world. They spoke to all manner of sicknesses, diseases, and infirmities. They cast out devils who inflicted these pains on the people. That's the life we have in Christ. Refuse to be sick. Stick to the word of faith that stirs you up in the things of God and in the way of the Spirit. Meditate on the truths of God's word. Romans 8 verse 11 says, But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies and his spirit that dwelleth in you. This has already happened now that Christ lives in you. Therefore, arm yourself with this insight and dominate sickness and disease Rule over the depravities and negativities of this world and their corrupting influences. Hallelujah. And this is such a timely article because today we have the Healing Streams Live Healing Service with Pastor Chris. I'll put a link below on how you can register. So for the confession, you may kindly repeat after me. Say the truth of God's... Um, say the truth of God... Is revealed in my spirit and I'm walking accordingly the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in me and he has vitalized me through and through he is the life and health of my physical body and the Lord's righteousness is revealed in my body Hallelujah. And for further study, you may read Matthew 9, verse 35, Mark 3, verse 14 to 15, 3 John 1, verse 2, and Revelations 22, verse 2. And for our one-year Bible reading plan, you may read Luke 2, verse 1 to 20, and Deuteronomy 11 to 12. And for our two-year Bible reading plan, you may read Acts 28, verse 21 to 31. And Psalms 8 to 3 to 8 to 4. Thank you so much for joining me today. 
and see you again tomorrow in another Rhapsody reading. God bless you.